Hello and good afternoon. My name is um, Stefan Rohl. I'm a professor here at Dalian Yamsha University. And today I'd like to show you a small dish which I call chicken shaker style. So let's get started. First thing we will do is our maple flavored sweet potatoes. Doesn't have to be any fancy dice, just very simple. We'll cut them up, get them in our pot, and add a little bit of hot water. And always don't forget, season a little bit. Just you want, even if they're sweet potatoes, nice little pinch of salt. And we're gonna put them on the stove and simmer them for about 15 to 20 minutes so they're nice and soft. The second part of our duo of pipe mashed potatoes will be a chive mashed potato. Same procedure as before. We add them towards our small pot. Add the water. Season them as well. Our next item will be the zucchini flour. We just cut the ends off. We need um, either a mandolin or you can use a slice at home. Or if you're really good with your knife skills, you can also use your knife. And then you just wanna slice them very thin. And you only need about four to five nice slices we're gonna go over to our stove and we just gonna quick planch them, not very long, for about uh, 15 to maybe 30 seconds. And we'll take the zucchini and just drop them one by one because you don't, it's just gonna go very quick, only about 30 seconds, like I said. I have here some beautiful fresh chives. Now the chives go in. The chives, in and out. Two, three seconds. Now we take our plank zucchini. We lay the chive down first. And then we'll go color by color. We take green, yellow, again green. And you always want to end up with the color that you started. So if you start with a green, you end up with a green. If you start with a yellow, you want to do a yellow color and you roll them up. And then you tie them up, stand them up, and now you have a beautiful zucchini flower. The baby going to heat this up. We're just going to do very simple, steam it in some water. We're going to go on to our basil infused grape tomatoes. For this, I will need the Robocoop and fresh basil. And we're just going to give it a little rough chop. We'll take these, add this into the Robocoop. Let it go for a moment till it gets finely chopped. Then we'll take our olive oil and slowly pour it into it. We'll let it run for about 30 seconds till you get the right consistency. And that's the color we're looking for. A nice bright green with a beautiful aroma of fresh herbs and olive oil. And then we have about four to five grape tomatoes. And we're just gonna cut these in half. Put them in our bowl. Add a little bit of our infused oil. And then we're just gonna set them to the side in the refrigerator. And let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, so the flavors soak on to the tomatoes. And when we get done to serve our dish, we're gonna quick saute them. Now our sweet potatoes are all done, as well as our chive mashed potatoes. I drain them with a little bit from the water, make sure they're nice and soft, and then we'll take them, and we'll take a good old-fashioned German potato masher. Put them right in here. Just creak them down. Okay. 
Now we will add about one ounce of butter, brown sugar, and then we add the maple syrup. You can put these just in a warm spot for a moment. And we'll go right onto our chive mashed potatoes. And we'll do the same procedure as we did with the sweet potatoes. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I like to use white pepper. Make sure our cream is nice and hot. And then we fold it carefully into here. Nice smooth consistency. Our ready potatoes, very important. You always want to make sure they taste good. Put the flavor. Mm, delicious. Now we have our sweet potatoes. We'll take clear piping bags and we fill them with the uh, sweet potatoes. There's our first bag. And now with the potatoes, last thing, I didn't put the chives in too early. I want to fold them last minute. One teaspoon of chopped chives. Same procedures, I'll take my potatoes and I fill them right in my bag. Now we gotta make it really complicated. We gotta bring a third bag in. Now we have enough to do with two bags. Now it's three bags. We'll cut a small opening here. We cut a small opening on this as well, same size. And then we gotta slide them into our silk bag and cut a small opening here as well. Then we'll slide two bags into here. Make sure they're coming down the same way. We'll keep them like this. And then we're gonna plate up. I will show you a nice technique because when we pipe them, we get a nice to it. It's gotta look like a painted panel. We'll keep them just in a warm spot while we'll finish up our chicken. First, we're gonna cut up quick some apples, about half an apple for the dish. And I like to use red and as well a Macintosh. And you just take them like this and we cut two little slices. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. All right, here we got our apples. Now we'll go to our chicken. And it's a very neat chicken breast. I use about six ounces. All we want to do is take the fat off a little bit. We have a saute pan right here. We want to make sure the pan gets nice and hot. We add a bit of olive oil. If you hear a nice sizzle, you know your oil was very nice and hot. So a little salt, a little pepper. See how nice the color? We flip it over to our second side, season it again. Then we'll get our carbados ready, about one ounce. Take it to the side, add the liquor. And there you have a little flame. Make sure you keep your eyebrows away from it. We add our apple cider, which is about two ounces. And then we add our heavy cream, about two ounces as well. Now we just let it simmer for about two, three minutes to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Taste your sauce, make sure the flavor is good. Oh, tastes delicious. And then our final step, we add our apples. Let them simmer for a few seconds. And here we got our little zucchini flour. And I'm gonna just pop this into the steam bath back here. And then we'll take our tomatoes. Just quick saute them right in here. And just very quick, little seasoning, just a very light touch of salt, very light pinch of pepper. And that's it, you wanna keep them nice and fresh, almost like a warm tomato salad. Our first item, we'll come back to our mashed potatoes. And you have two different colors. You have a white chive, and then you have your sweet potato there. And everybody's gonna think, how did you get them like this on the plate? Very simple trick. Next thing, our zucchini flour. 
put it carefully on the plate. Our tomatoes. And our final ingredient, our chicken. Then we'll just take our apples, we'll place them carefully over it, drizzle our sauce. And then I like to use a bit of fresh chervil just to give it a green look right on top. Here you have it, a very simple dish that you can make look very elegant. And if you'd like to know more about the culinary program, visit us at snh.edu. And I can't wait to dig into it.